Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another City of Newcastle episode and if you are enjoying the series, please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you have not already and if you're new. So, we're going to start today's video looking at Alex. I've just been in Alex's chat, he's doing a 12 hour stream for charity, so, you know, supporting him, but he's complained that he's not been in the video too much. So, here he is. The reason he's not been in the video too much is because he's very, very average. I mean, if you look at City of Liverpool's performance, this was first season, second, sixth, tenth, fourth. Now we're ninth. So, Alex, that's why you've not been in the videos too often. Uh, start performing a bit better. I mean, to be fair, your stats aren't great, apart from your man management and your motivating. They're, they're pretty good, but the rest of it, not great. Your tactical knowledge of four, however, pretty accurate. But since last time, this is what happens. Obviously, last time out, we played against Hemel Hempstead and Kings Lynn. Um, we played a lot of games since then. Um, after the Kings Lynn game, we had a couple of draws um, against guys in Southport, a win against Kettering. We lost in the cup against uh, Dulwich Hamlet. Um, a 95th minute goal, I thought we were through. They then equalised in the 98th minute and we were knocked out on penalties, which is really disappointing. But it is what it is. We followed that up with another draw against Hartlepool. Then we went on a quite a nice run of wins in all competitions before more recently losing two games in a row. Our only two defeats in this season so far. Um, in the league, that is, of course. Obviously, we had the FA Cup defeat. Uh, but other than that, I mean, outright defeats. Obviously, this one was a draw and a defeat on penalty. So outright defeats, these are our only two. Now, funny story. Um, when I recorded the intro to this video, we'd just play the Darlington game. I've now realised that I didn't play the Whitby game, which I was planning on playing before this game. So I played it just now, and we lost. So, you know, things are getting worse. In this episode, though, we are going to be playing against Tamworth and against South Shields. Obviously, arch rivals South Shields. If I show you the, not that one, the club profile, and go in general. Fierce rivals... South Shields. This is a big game for us. A game that we want to be winning. And if we have a look at the league, we're sitting quite nicely at the top. Only five points clear, but obviously Darlington have a game in hand. They could close that gap. Boston also have a um, two two games in hand that they could catch us up with, as well as Altrincham. So they could close the gap even further. But I've also made the mistake of not assimilating to the next game. So, so far, it's going absolutely tremendously. But next time you're going to be seeing me, it will be on the, the tactics screen and we'll see who's going to be playing against Tamworth in this game. So this is the team that's going to be playing against Tamworth in our first game of this episode. Only new player that you probably don't recognise is Josh Reese. I believe he's a player we've seen before, but I think it might be a different Reese to be honest. Um, but Josh Reese is going to be playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder in this game. He usually, obviously, you know we play as a we play ball-winning midfielders. He's not performed too well in that role. So we're going to try box to box because I realise he's got some really good attributes that's not being used as a ball winning midfielder. So we're going to we're going to give him a go in that role. And if it doesn't work, we'll switch it back or possibly switch uh, personnel. But he is a really good player for the team. Um, other than that, it's the usual Hoskins in goal. Coogan at right back. Jacob Jones at left back. Gamblin and Gabadibo, the incredible centre back partnership. Uh, matching up at the back. Uh, Jack Baxter and Josh Reese at the uh, in the centre of the midfield. Uh, Paul Miller on the left, Josh Foster on the right, Sam Klukas in behind Levi Welsh. Let's get straight into this game and hopefully get our re winning run back up and running. Okay, so it's time for the game to kick off and hopefully we can put this run of two defeats on in a row that you know we've not had all season. Hopefully we can put that behind us and get ourselves three points against Tamworth. Tamworth are up in seventh place, so it's not going to be an easy game by any means. And, you know, teams around us are not too far away from us. So hopefully we can score some goals and get ourselves three points. And Tamworth have a corner towards the far post, but it is headed away by Gabadibo. Hagen's on the ball now. Can we win that ball back and counter? No, we can't. It's through to Rush. Matt Rush for his 17th goal of the season puts Tamworth 1-0 up. It's it's not going well. I was hoping to end the run of bad form. But instead it's continuing. Hagen with a good ball into the box. The defenders just... Yeah, 
They've just left him. They've just let him run. He's rushed through on goal, no pun intended. And he's put them 1-0 up. Hopefully we can respond to that. We're going to go back balanced because I feel like that's what we were doing before. And it was working quite well. Despite the fact that we are better than the teams we're coming up against. And we should be up near the top. I, I believe that going balanced is probably the best response. And that's what's got our, our better results. Um, I'm going to tell them to show a bit of design. That they don't look like a team that wants to win. But also tell them... That they've got the ability to make the difference. And hopefully that means they'll go out there and they'll do exactly that. Tamworth now with a throw in in their defensive area. Angel now. Murphy. Back to Angel. What's he going to do with it? He tries to clear it. He does. It gets to Hagen who obviously provided for the first goal of this game. Um, they're passing it around the back quite nicely. Go for the long ball. Through to Rush. And Gibbadibo. Gets himself a second yellow. Gets himself sent off. Um, okay, I was just about to suggest a, a tactic change, which was going to be this. I now don't see how that's going to work. But we're still going to try it. We are going to try it. We're going to go with Paul Miller up front with Levi Welsh. Because Miller, I mean, he's playing well. And actually, we're going to take Welsh off uh, for Bailey Green because he's not been playing well. Josh Foster will play a little further forward to so possibly push these two. I knew that was going to do that. Push these two over that way. Swap them. No, Miller does need to be on the left. And then with this, I have absolutely no idea. Do we just go bold and do that? Can either of these play at centre-back? I don't think they can. I'm thinking, okay, this is bold. I don't know how this is going to work. Right, okay. We're going Reese there. Although Reese should be. We'll swap these two round. And Coogan is going to come off for Snedden. And that is what we're going to do. Do we keep that like that? Or do we. Yeah, that looks great. That looks great. I've talked you through all of that and I really didn't need to. But there we go. That's what we're going with. And we're probably going to go more direct now. Maybe higher tempo. Stop working the ball into the boss. Hit the early crosses. Well, actually, we'll take that off. And, you know, maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll get ourselves a goal. We'll go, well, no, we won't go higher. We'll keep that as it is. Right, let's just go. This is not going to work. Okay, Jones with the ball forward towards Miller. But it is one bat. And Reese puts in a pretty good tackle. On the Tamworth player. Scott's running through now though. And I believe. He's put it on the edge to lever it. And lever it. Levers it. But only onto the bar. And it's. Okay. It's not too bad. I think. I've said it before. And I'll say it again. Defensive is quite a good mentality in this year's game. So I'm going to go for it. And see if we could just pinch a goal. And then. Within the five last five minutes. If we don't. We'll go attacking and see if we can force something. It is time. Let's, let's try and force something. Try and get something from this game. Let's not make it three defeats in a row. Albeit, this one is down to a, a sending off. There's not a lot we can do about that. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Rush is through. He plays it back to... I didn't see what that was. But um, Gilboy is what that is. Mills. On the ball now, lever it. Is he going to lever it? He doesn't. McManus hits the post. Rush, I mean, great tackle from Baxter to get the ball away. And Tamworth have been denied a very good goal-scoring opportunity. But I, I don't think this is going to happen. We've got a minute to go. We have got another highlight. However, it looks to be in Tamworth's favour. So I don't think that it's, it's going to come to anything, for us at least. Uh, ball into the box. Jones clears it away. I mean... It's going to be another defeat, and I'm not happy about it. This is could see us. Actually, I think it will see us lose our, to, our spot, top of the table, despite being, I think, six points clear we were recently. And now that deficit is gone, and we're now actually, I believe, one point behind league leaders. So, fantastic. Okay, and I think I agree with my assistant manager in this situation. The morale is pretty low right now i mean if we have a look at it is, is it yeah it's not great 
So I feel like we do need to hold a team meeting and try and lift everyone's spirits. Um, I wish I could have someone come and uh, do that for me in this situation. But what do we say? I'm really keen to ensure our heads don't drop. Things haven't been going our way, but we've got the ability to change. The ability in this squad to change our fortunes. And they are very happy with that. Pump the fists. I'm very happy with that. They're very happy with that. We've got a big derby day here. So we really need to well, win quite simply there's, there's there's no beating around the bush there we need to win okay so it's time for the derby against south shields and this is the team we're going with obviously with gadebo uh gabadebo i should say uh suspended lewis sneddon comes in and lewis is a very very good young player with plenty of potential so he's definitely a player that we're quite happy to bring in i will put him in his more preferred role just so he's a bit more comfortable out there but as you can see, it is a formation change. We've gone back to the 4-4-2 and hoping that it will work. Uh, we've got interest in both Miller, the 20, you know, only the 25 clubs, and Levi Welsh from Cheltenham. Um, and also Gamblin as well, wanted by Chesterfield and Scunthorpe. So we have got quality players here. But, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh. Hopefully these quality players can see us through this game and not make it four losses in a row. Um, but yes, the the team that's um that's shaping up against uh, South Shields looks like this: um, Hoskins in goal, Coogan and Jacob Jones are at left and right back, Gamblin and Sneddon, and then obviously the change we've got Tavares uh, on the right wing, just because Foster can't really play there, he, he prefers to play more further forward up here. But Tavares is all right with a little bit further back. Uh, Harry Vince is back to play as a ball winning midfielder. Josh Reese didn't have a very good game again. Uh, Sam Lucas remains at left wing. And then Miller and Welsh up front. Those words just wouldn't come out for some reason. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so it is time for the game against South Shields. I'm a little bit concerned. This team that we're against are down in 10th. So, you know, if you think about it, we should be winning it. As uh, Callum Gribben. Uh, the former Manchester United Academy graduate uh, takes a free kick and he wins it back and he runs through, hits the post. Great start. Fantastic start. I'm doing what my coaches said, which was to go defensive. We're going to do it. I can't believe I'm doing this. A game that we should be uh, putting second against 10th and I'm succumbing to this pressure and going defensive. Welsh, I mean, I thought it was going to be a counter and it was. What is going on? We've had our first shot. Perfect. Let's press on from there. Okay, so I think we've settled down the pressure. So we're going to go positive now. But before I've done that, there is a chance. And it looks like it might be coming for South Shield. Snowden's on it now. Clementson, Whittingham. Um, Gribben plays out to Clementson. Is he going to put it in the box? He does towards um, Southam Hales. Good block from Jacob Jones. Tries to clear it. But it is only as far as Sterry, who puts it back into Snowden. Whittingham. I mean, really good play here. I mean, he's going to score. He's called it. It's 1-0 South Shields. And in our first ever derby day in the league, we're 1-0 down. This form has got to end somewhere. But it doesn't look like it's going to... I mean, what is that from Jacob Jones? That is awful. Um... I don't know what to do. The run's been going so well. I didn't expect it to just stop like this. Okay, South Shields with a throw in now. Over the top to Bussy, I think that would be. Hoskins with a good save. Um, you can tell I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I'd pretty much accepted that that was going to go in the back of the net. And it hasn't. So, I'm happy with that. Half time, 1-0. I think we're probably quite lucky for it to only be 1-0. Um, I'm going to thrash my arms and say I'm far from pleased. I mean, surely I could, I cannot be happy with that. Right, Miller. Here we go. Miller with a ball into the box. Okay, he's on the other side now with Baxter, who puts it back in towards Miller. And Miller gets his head on it, puts away his 11th goal of the season and equalises against South Shields. He's a City of Newcastle man and he knows what this means. It may be a... A new derby, maybe the first one in our history, but he knows what it means. And he manages to put us level. That's poor goalkeeping, to be honest. I'd be fuming if I was the South Shields manager. Just like I am with um, 
And Jacob Jones with his attempt at defending. It looks like we're going to have another chance here. Tavares is on the ball now. Coogan into the box. Welsh, Miller. I thought he was going to double it. Are we keeping it? Baxter, back to Vince. Okay. Uh, tell you what, we're, oh, we're getting back into this, I was going to say. Good save. Good save. Never in any doubt. Hoskins, though. Is Hoskins going to... It looks like the highlight might be continuing here, you know. Big ball forward towards Welsh. I obviously am now asking the keeper to do those long balls because in this lower level, it works. And Miller with another header nearly puts it in the back of the net again. And another highlight just instantly... Snedden on the ball, goes for the long ball towards Miller and it doesn't work. We're definitely not telling the players to be direct, just the goalkeeper. And Stewart, straight at Hoskins, fortunately. That could have been, um, well, not what we were asking for. Okay, substitutions are needed to be made, I think, because I'm looking at Sam Klukas and realising he's not having a good game whatsoever. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to bring Miller down to that side and Bailey Green on who's not had a good run of form at all but he he is a quality player and I think give him the chance and he could perform but what are we gonna see we've got a highlight instantly Coogan into the box Bailey Green is that I think that's off the bar that is so unfortunate I thought he was gonna make an immediate impact which would have been brilliant if he'd had but it's not to be and we've got 10 minutes to go just under now and we've got a highlight. Goal kick towards Coogan. It was. It looked like he was going to hammer it. And then it just didn't go very far. But South Shields have won the ball back. Snowden with the ball forward. And it's back to him. Long ball forward. South from Hales. I thought that was offside. But it doesn't look like it's going to be given. Good defending. That is definitely offside. Absolutely no doubt in that. Yep. Linesman's got it right. It's offside. It's still one all. And we've got 10 minutes to go now. Hopefully we can get ourselves a goal. Okay, but it's South Shields with the chance. Headed away, but only as far as one of their players and Tom Sams. I think we've had quite a good game after... Well, I say that. I look at the stats now and... It looks like we probably haven't. I don't really know what to do. Snowden just lays it to... Well, doesn't really lay it off to him. He just passes it to him and Sams. It's it first time. It's not what we wanted. At all. So, what do we do? I think Josh Foster comes on. We need to we need to push. We need to get ourselves a goal. Let's just go for it. Okay, Miller with a corner into the box. And Vince had the chance to win it. And the run goes on. Run goes on. 2-1 defeat against the arch-rival South Shields. I'm telling them I'm far from pleased from that performance because that was not good enough. So many players underperformed there. Miller was decent. Baxter and Vince were okay. But other than that, it just wasn't good enough. You look at the table now. Darlington have overtaken us. We have a chance to go second. Because Telford actually lost after being ahead against Whitby. Or Whitby, a team that obviously tripped us up recently. I think we need to have a look at how we're playing. But that is going to be the end of the video. So I hope you have enjoyed. I absolutely have not. But do leave a like and subscribe if you have not already and if you are new. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.